they're going to prison or they're passing away and after this happens they're going to be put away or they're not going to be here no more so they're not going to be able to cause any more drama because a lot of people have been following this person because this person's been paying confirmation been paying people and everything else to come up against you to stop you block you well with this person not here no more there's a lot of people that are still doing it that don't want to but they they're feeling forced to or they feel obligated or they're afraid of this person doing the same thing and blackballing them okay so that's the only reason why they're still on this bandwagon well with this person not here no more they're not gonna you know what I mean whether they're in prison or if they're you know you know all the way down to hell you know what I mean so now it's gonna be a lot easier okay and your divine counterpart knows the truth they're coming in um, and you're getting you know God's keeping of course God always keeps his promises but you've been keeping your promise and this is why it's coming in all right and you're doing you're continuing to do everything in the upgrade with all eyes stacked against you even when you had nowhere to go no outlet you didn't know what to do you didn't know where to turn you turn to God and you let go and you let God and you know, it's the best thing you could have possibly done. And everybody also sees that, you know, where you were before when you're with this person or in or these other people, not even just, it's not just your ex, it's a lot of other people that was involved in this. Now, once you cut all these people off, everybody sees how, how much you ascended, okay? And how much you achieved ever since you left this person. And this person's been doing nothing but going downhill, spiraling down heavily. All right. And now it just shows like obviously these people are the problem because you're so unbothered by them with all their childish antics and everything, their, their evil things that they've been doing to you. But yet they're so jealous and envious of you. It's just so obvious. And they keep bringing your name up over and over again. Every like it's all every conversation is about you and like people are getting tired of it. Somebody's going to be, oh, wow, look at this. Somebody might take their own life. I'm just looking at this. I know it's supposed to be like a vein or whatever, like, but I'm looking at this as like somebody might 5150 and they're gonna do it. They're gonna end it. It's not for attention. It's going upward. It's not the sideways. That's it's not for attention. It's actual it's um vertically, not horizontally, okay? When it's horizontally, that's like cry for attention. Vertically, that's you're trying to do it. Like you're you're really trying to do it. And if they were sending you 5150 spells, you know, where you would take your own, you know, you would um, delete yourself, we'll say, that's it's going right back to them. Well. Yeah, somebody might take themselves out because they don't want to go to prison. They feel like they're at a dead end. They don't know what to do. And instead of turning to God like you did when, when all odds stacked against you and everybody that you love and cared about turned on you. Yeah, look, it might be a male and a female. There's one right here, too. I know it's just like supposed to be like the crease and everything in the arm. But I'm looking at it. This is the first time I looked at it and seen it as like they're at a dead end. They might want to. They might want a 5150 self-delete. And they're doing it like the right, you know what I mean? The right way. Where this isn't like an attention thing. It's not for attention. They're my con they're like they look. Look at the slashes on the neck. On the chest. They might even do it that way. Like. Like, yeah, that part's like for that, but like, you know what I'm saying? You see the lines right here. Maybe because they're afraid to go to prison. Maybe they're going to prison for something that had to do, like, with, you know, that they're going to get beat up severely in prison for. Maybe it's something to do with, like, you know, um, minors, okay? And they don't want to go to prison for this. They feel like there's no way out. They don't know where to turn. You should always turn. Whenever you're at, like, a dead end, you turn to God, always. For everything you turn to God, but these people are so low vibrational, they don't, they worship the devil, they do, you know, demonic things. They don't realize they could still turn to God, it's never, you know what I mean? That, but it is what it is, whatever happens, it's meant to happen, it's in God's hands, and, you know, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it, you know, what, what would we, what are we going to do, we, you know what I mean? There's nothing, somebody's trying to take your life, like, no, that's not happening. You also have a very long lifespan as well. They were trying to shorten it, and I feel like you're getting even um, more time put onto your life because of what you've been doing. Do my lifespan, it goes off on my arm, onto my wrist. It goes all the way down. For anybody that can read palms, 
the palm reading. Yeah. Somebody's name could begin with an S. I'm seeing like an S in his throat. I just heard Sally. Someone's name could be Sally. A female, obviously. Cody could be somebody's name. Oh, what did they get called for? Bliss. You're about to be living in bliss. Okay. Let me see what this is. Hold on. This is the last one. Rising star, baby. I know that's right. Yeah, your ex. This is on the fence more so in reverse. This is your ex going to, you know, to the courthouse. Somebody or somebody came in with a false ass cup of love. That's so funny because it's 23 right here. That's just very significant for me. Um, yeah. Somebody that came in that was supposed to like you gave them all your love and and look off offered they're going to off themselves i'm sure only getting somebody's going to off themselves because they're going to go to court for something they did maybe drugging you poisoning you whatever they did to you and i'm strongly getting it's something something underhanded that was lusty and I, i'm telling you i feel like it's something to do with a child possibly or maybe what they did to you if they were recording you without your knowledge without your permission and putting it online yeah that's they're going to, that's a sex charge they're going to have to go on megan's law someone's going to be megan animosity mentally and emotionally unstable and i'm telling you look mentally and emotionally unstable underneath the endings someone's going to take their life you're a rising star and you're getting your achievements because you are my darling you're a rising star you're about to get some sort of surprise because you are in your north node honey and you, for you, whatever you're doing it's for your work labor and efforts okay you're about to get some sort of surprise somebody's going to offer you something okay all right maybe if you're if you're a singer you're about to get like some sort of grammy or something i don't know um or something or like some sort of reward or maybe someone's going to offer you well no you're a rising star okay you're someone's going to offer you some sort of like maybe um i don't know some some sort of fame or something i don't know whatever you do for your work okay but now these people are very angry and upset and jealous and envious at the fact that you know that you're you're you know you're so high ascending they can't attack you now this person is you know got some sort of mental and emotional or mentally and, and emotionally unstable okay this person that came in you're jump strong again it could be your past person they're at some sort of endings look they could be sobbing their eyes out you know you know what um leaking out of every orifice and hole and, you know in in their face and it was like look eyes like crying out you know they're at a dead with that dead end they don't know what to do and i'm looking at this offer offer sticking out to me but i'm looking at it as like off they could even try to okay they could have been recorded being told to off her like saying off you you know what i mean or it, off him you know what i mean so now that they know they're going to prison for for something to do sexually okay also for um you know trying to unalive you maybe they're going to prison for actually unaliving somebody um and attempting to unalive you all right they're very jealous and envious of the fact that you're they have a lot of animosity about you ascending and how you know how unbothered you are and all their childish antics are catching up to them they're very angry okay very hostile and very very you know about this and they're very not only they angry and 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 you know um jealous envious and and very hostile uh they're mentally and emotionally unstable all right maybe somebody's gonna be all drunk okay they could be drinking and driving or drugging and driving and get into an accident okay remember i said somebody's gonna try to show up to court like intoxicated or they're gonna use that maybe on the way to the courthouse or in a crash maybe they're not gonna be paying attention or maybe it doesn't even have to be at court okay maybe it's just someone's name could be courtney or court um or maybe they're just driving you're gonna drive in and they're gonna purposely crash or maybe 5150 i don't know and they're very upset about the fact that you're getting some sort of achievement okay that you are a rising star there is no doubt about it you're about to get some sort of surprise all right um 
from like maybe you know that it's going to put you into this that it's going to put you into the line like completely okay maybe you have a platform you're about to get you know you're about to have some major glow up okay um that's why they're attacking it so bad they know what you're destined for they know what's about to happen they're trying so hard to block this and it's all coming in because you're in your north node and the courthouse knows this too okay they know that your ex or whoever this is these people are in their south node they're very unbalanced and i'm strongly getting they were trying to say that you were crazy that you were lusty you are this you are that but we don't care about that because you're none of that okay you're a very divine being in your north node you are a rising star you're getting some sort of major achievements you are unbothered you are a healer and you are continuing to ascend and i'm strongly getting maybe hey maybe you're going to meet um a professional boxer or something i don't know all right i don't know oh burt cooper rest in peace buddy um burt cooper he was uh a boxer he's the first person to ever knocked out holyfield all right um you can look him up he called him Smoking Burke. God rest his beautiful soul. He was a good friend of mine. Um, he's such a good man. Very good man. His sister did him really dirty, was robbing money from him. Okay, because he was a boxer and his memory wasn't so good. So, like, he would, he used to have me write letters to his girlfriend. And he was telling me about how his sister was stealing his money because he couldn't remember too much. Like, she would take care of it, but he knew she was taking his money and stuff. So maybe a sister or somebody was taking your money. Maybe they said that you weren't able to... Um, so right when I said that, I thought of Burke Cooper right away. God rest his beautiful soul. He passed away, unfortunately. I believe from cancer. Um, but he was such a good man. Dude, his one fist... I, go, I went like this. His one fist is bigger than both of my fists put together. He used to be like, Missy, come on, you want to box? I'm like, bro, you, what? <laughs> he's like, no, no, for real, for real. And he used to teach me how to box. He taught me how to box, like, you know, like, from actual, true, like, you know, um, first person to ever knock out Holyfield. Love that man. He was such a good guy. He loved his girlfriend, too. So, Bert Cooper's um, girlfriend comes across this, man. He really loved you. And I was the one that used to write you the letters when we were in Eagleville. <laughs> he loves you. But yeah, his sister, so I don't know why that's coming out. So maybe something like that was happening. Maybe you have a sister or a family member or a friend or somebody that was that was um, taking advantage of you. They were saying they could have lied to the courts and said that you were crazy when you're not. And got like some sort of whatever, um, whatever this is, okay? But you're about to get some sort of surprise, okay? And I feel like somebody out here, you might have, um, somebody might have something wrong with them, some sort of illness, and you're about to get a surprise, you're about to be healed. Now I'm seeing like the healers, you know, you see on like on TV or on, on online or whatever, where they go into like the court, the, the, um, inside the churches, right? And they heal people that people that can't walk, you might end up, that might be you. Okay. You might be getting that gift. They're shocked at the fact that you are a healer. They know for a fact you are. And you're rising, okay, north node, and then uh, work, labor, and effort. You're about to, whatever you're doing for work as your healing abilities, okay, you're getting some sort of upgrades, all right, or whatever it is that you do, okay, you're, it's going up more, okay, the courthouse is, if you have a platform, they're watching your work, okay, they like what you do, they know the truth about you. But yeah, somebody's having sort of like some sort of mental like mental breakdown. They're gonna take their own life. Somebody could have gauges in their ears. Like it looks like it could probably be like um, an inch, half inch, or inch gauges. Not probably like a half inch. It looks like half inches. Shine bright like a diamond. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Somebody's in their thoughts about this? They realize that they look at the heart, they're in their thoughts thinking about like how they messed this up. 
and how they actually love you now and they should they should never did what they did yeah because you don't realize what you have until it's gone and when it's gone it's too late not your problem collective Thank you, sir. You could be a reader, or somebody could be getting readings done on you. If you are a reader, the the core had like the, the the just systems watching your your readings, okay? Oh wow, commitment and divinity, beautiful. They're very jealous and envious at the fact that you um they have a lot of animosity against you that you're ascending and you're not like you know in your spiritual gifts, in your spirituality, but also in a relationship that you're about to be coming in or you're in. Seventy nine can be significant. The third of March of seventy nine can be significant. Or something like that or 92 and that you are both divine beings okay they found out that they are attacking um a divine being okay an earth angel this could be a, your twin flame that you're about to be coming into union with this could be your false flame it doesn't have to be but we have divinity divinity what <laughs> divinity and then divination okay you could be a divine um tarot reader and I'm strongly, I'm strongly getting you are a very powerful one too. And people think that just because we're readers that like, oh, this, this is not a gift. This isn't all. Like we just do the cards. A lot of us, you know, especially those of us that are, you know, divine, actually divine, like, you know, readers and stuff. We are extremely gifted. We have a lot of other gifts we use. We don't even need the cards half the time. Okay. We use the cards for use. Okay. There's, we get a lot of, it's not just readings that we do. We get a lot of other, you know what I mean? And but okay if you think you're so slick and powerful and you can do it it's not so hard how about you pick it up and do it if you have no divinity if you have no um intuition or anything how are you supposed to do it because there's so many different meanings for each card you have to be able to put, plug in and pick out which which you know and have it be an accurate reading also i'm getting all your readings are accurate readings you like you're you're so on point that it scares people maybe like down to details And I feel like your divine counterpart or your twin flame, whoever this is, um, could have got a reading done and found out, no, you are in your north node. You're not any of these, what these liars. And I feel like they went to it like a very, like they're the best one around. Like if this person's famous, okay, we have Rise of Star here. Maybe this person has, is famous or they are just very wealthy. I feel like they went to like the reader that, you know what I mean? Like the best reader there is, you know what I mean? And that everybody, they're really expensive, but like, all the famous people or high the elites and everything go to because they are tapped all the way in and i feel like they went and they found out no you are their their either soulmate or their twin flame you're you know and possibly that you are a reader as well and you're a divine reader and also like your ex or whomever this is they got a reading done found out that you're about to be coming into union or you did this could definitely be your um your twin flame you both have like the same look and eyes Look near, you know what I mean? It's kind of look similar. Like, you look like the female version. Uh, like, the male looks like the female, like, you know, sort of. And that's usually what the twin flames are. It's like, looking at yourself in the mirror. Because you were once one soul. It's so funny, because I kind of, <laughs> she really, like, kind of looks like me. <laughs> that's so funny. Somebody could be evil eyeing you. She has an evil eye ring on her finger. All right, you might want some amethyst if you work with crystals, okay? There's an amethyst crystal ball right here. Amethyst is purple. Right here. See, like, in that, in the sphere right here, there's amethyst. Somebody could be a Pisces. There's amethyst in this one, too, like that purple ball. I don't know if y'all can see right there. See the purple ball right here? Right there. A crystal it's not a ball it's a crystal there's more amethyst on this one 
purple could be someone's favorite color. See the purple, like the amethyst on here? That's rose quartz, and that ball is rose quartz, but it's, it's amethyst at the bottom. This is amethyst, though. Hello. There's amethyst uh, cluster right here. Opal just fell down. You might want to work with opal. This opal crystal just fell off when I went to go grab this amethyst. But they were surprised when they found out. No, you're actually desperate. Like when your ex or whoever got a reading done too, they fit, they were shocked when they found out that you know you're reaching all your achievements. Like you're 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 actually a rising star. Um, this is why they're attacking you so much too. And they were shook that you're in your North Node. You know, um, you're about to come into union, or you did, and with your divine counterpart. And it's got this person like jealous and envious that you ascended. You are a healer, and you're completely unbothered by all this. And um, that you're you know what I mean everything's working out for you and as they're at a dead end they don't know what to do they're you know they're very jealous you know and um uh what do you call it envious of you okay because of this and they will not they're mentally unstable too now they're completely unhinged and i'm strongly getting this might be like the camera that broke the and they found out and i feel like they're gonna get like a you know maybe they, they're getting some sort of court notices finding out that they have to go to court that they're screwed they're completely screwed now they feel like they're at a dead end now they're in their thoughts you know realizing what they did was completely wrong they should have treated you better and now there's no coming back you know you don't realize what you have till it's gone when it's gone it's too late but they never thought that it would be too late with you but that's what they get for assuming things they should have appreciated you when they had you but they didn't so now they lost that and they lost it forever Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that Passed Away. What does the Collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. They got caught for abuse. Sexual abuse. Look. Sorry, guys. I They say I caught that card, the abuse, and it's over top of the lust. For trying to sexually abuse you, possibly. This could even be like a stepdad or something. Um, and you healed from the sexual abuse. Anybody that had to go through that, um, trust me, I'm right there with you. Um, I just want to send you so much love, light, healing, and faith, okay? They're going to impr they're, look, imprisonment. They're going to prison for sexual abuse. Either to you or a minor. You're a star seed. You're getting some sort of achievement. You're a rising star. You are a star seed, okay? You're completely unbothered by these losers. All right? Somebody's going to prison for lust abuse, okay? Somebody that you healed from that tried, that was either, um, trigger warning, I apologize guys, um, sexually abusing you or, um, they're about to be surprised about this. Um, and, oh sorry, or like sexually harassing you. Somebody could have been your stepdad, or it could have been like, you know, your ex, or like a friend, or something. Um, I just want to send you so much love, light, healing, um, and faith, okay? They found out the truth, okay? God bless you, beautiful soul. Um, they're going to prison, don't worry, you're getting your justice, okay? Um, they're about, somebody's about to get some sort of surprise notice, finding out that, you know what I mean? From the courthouse, that they're going to prison, and this is why they, they're like about to lose their darn mind. Also, okay, the download I got like about a week ago about a, um, was somebody, somebody's ex got caught up with their new person sleeping with their new person's, um, their new person's like child or something. Now, I don't know how old the kid is, I don't know if they're like a teenager or, or if it's an adult but yeah but now looking at the sexual abuse thing and i'm like you know what i mean the lust abuse maybe it yeah see somebody had purple hair but they're going to prison for this it's your ex they're about to be surprised or somebody that came with some sort of false couple of they could have drugged you and tried to abuse you there i feel like there's a couple different energies here that's going down for this it could be an ex, okay? Uh, it could be a friend and like a stepfather or a father figure. 
somebody could have drugged you and then you know um you might even you might not know about this because you could have been um <clears throat> you could have been they could have drugged you well guess what god's seen it god knows about it archangel michael um archangel michael is there protecting you and he's gonna make you know you're gonna heal from this all right um where you did and you're protected okay and i feel like you're not the only person that this was happening to and i feel like if it did happen like you don't remember it happening and that's a blessing okay because you don't remember you won't have to have these flashbacks all right look at it that way and it was like yeah um i know i had like you know look at the best way all right i'm trying to figure out how to say this without like the best way to say it like now this person they can't these people can't hurt anybody else all right and now when they go to prison they know damn right well you know um especially if it has to do with a child with those charges this is why they're, they're thinking about 51 50 okay because um i'm also getting not only sexual abuse there was mental abuse see, like with the tomato hitting the head they were doing like mental i feel like it could have been for some use physical mental emotional spiritual definitely spiritual and also um you know sexual abuse but just know that you're you're taking these people down you're saving a lot of lives okay and I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. Um, and I just want to send you so much love, light, healing, and faith, all right? They are going to prison, don't worry. If they make it there. They might even take their own life in prison, okay? Because they're afraid. This could be out in, like, the yard. You know what I mean? In a prison yard or something, or when they're out in the yard, they might do it. Somebody could be trying to run from the courthouse and get pow, pew, pew in the head, trying to run because they're, they're scared. They don't want to go to prison with those charges. Somebody could also be like, let me not say that. Hold on. Never mind. Let me not say that part. Okay. All right. Somebody here was trigger warning to the fullest degree somebody here i apologize guys but somebody here was abused got pregnant and got a abortion and this person was going around saying it was because it was from somebody who armored you oh, Lord Jesus. and they were trying to say that you're a horrible person but the reason why this happened was because the person was r word you know what I mean? Um, they were slandering your name, saying all this crazy stuff. Now, I know, like, you know, I, I mean, like, that's a different story. I mean, I would still, would, I personally would have still kept, you know, the child, but, like, I could understand if somebody else couldn't deal with it, because then, like, especially if they did remember everything and it would just hurt them. I mean, I would have just, if anything, I would have kept it, but, like, you know, some people, they can't, like, they could, you know, like, think about it, like, how would you feel if that happens, okay, um, you know, and they're talking all this crap, but they don't know what it's like, well, guess what, they're going to find out what it's like, because when they go to prison, that, that's going to happen to them, yeah, they're not going to get pregnant, obviously, but they're going to get, um, abused, just like they abused you, except for it's going to be, like, you know, um, a whole gang of guys are going to be forced, forcing it, and they're not going to be drugged, they're going to be wide awake, all the way up, and they're about to get a surprise, like, ooh, yeah. And they're about to get beat up in there. And also, you know what I mean? Because karma's coming back in. That might happen and they end up taking their, I don't know, something like that's happening. Somebody's also, like, some about getting um, sexually harassed or something like that in prison or something like that. Or sexually abused in prison. Also... This spring, I just had a, I just, you know, I had a flashback to, remember that reading I did like about a month or so ago, or maybe two months ago, when I was saying how that uh, there was somebody that was sleeping with a, somebody in that, all right, this person was a state inmate, but they went to like the halfway back house or something like that, and they were sleeping with a, with their counselor or something like that, or a CO or something. 
she's going to turn around and say that, sh that he, you know, he was abusing her. Because she found out that he was just using her. Because she was bringing stuff into him. Possibly drugs, but I feel like stuff so that he could do spells, like witchcraft and stuff in there. I don't know. I feel maybe she got pregnant. She could have got pregnant. She's going to say that it was he or word her or something like that. Something like that's happening. Lord Jesus, what is happening right now? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? I love these cards, dude. I actually love, 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 love these cards. Divination again. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely a reader. A very powerful reader. You're manifesting this, okay? Somebody was also trying to do some sort of love spells or trying to manifest. Okay, you're actually getting some sort of ascension in your manifestations as well. You're manifesting. You're, um, they're jealous and envious at the fact that you are such a master um, manifester. And that you're manifesting your divine counterpart. Somebody actually sees what you like. I feel like they could be watching your channel. If you're a reader and you have a channel. Or they went and got a reading done and found out that you're manifesting your, your justice. You're manifesting, you know, you being this like rising star. Um, you know, you coming into union and everything else. You're definitely a, you know, you're manifesting your justice. Bro, I'm not kidding you. When, I, when I'm manifesting my justice, like I picture... I literally picture them getting, like, you know, the judge being, like, you know, Oprah Winfrey. You get a life sentence. You get a life sentence. You get, you can go free. Just kidding. Nope, you're getting a life sentence, too. Death penalty. Like, I'm, I'm like, I get into it. And I feel the emotions, like, how it feels because of what these people have done to me. Like, Oprah Winfrey, as a judge, giving out life sentences and, and like, messing with, like, the person that did the worst to me that, like, unalived my parents and tried to unalive me and everything. And, you're like, and the judge going, oh, you can go free. Just kidding. You're getting a death penalty. And you get a life sentence. And you get a life sentence. And then while breaking down, crying. What about I'm sorry? Like, I get dramatic with it. Like, I'm not even playing with you. I, I, I like, I picture them, like, falling to the ground. Like, throwing desks and stuff. <laughs> throwing chairs and stuff. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, no, because after everything they did to us, are you kidding me? They deserve this. This going on for, since 2000, you know, um, pretty much like 2015. Right, since my mom passed away. But really went in hard since my, you know... Since the end of 2006, well, actually, yeah, no, 2015. But like the real, real abuse and everything started in 2016, and coming home from Florida, my bet my dad was, you know, unalived, and the, what they they literally tried to unalive me so many times and everything they did. I forgive them, but I will never forget. And now, how would you feel if somebody was over here? went around like spreading lies when all these people you loved you did nothing but love for these people care about these people and go out of your way break your like break your back for these people okay just for them to be literally trying to unalive you 